You don't allow the enemy to break you. You don't allow the enemy to destroy what you have. You stand firm on what you have. You stand firm on your beliefs. You stand firm on the things that you know what you are destined to be. You are not easily broken. You shall not be moved. You shall not be shaken. You shall not be any of that. Because God is the King of kings and the Lords of lords. He will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. And when you got multiple enemies, he prepare multiple tables for you. You better know who you are. You better know that God is able. You better know that they cannot break you. They cannot stop you. You better know that God is moving on your behalf. You better know that God loves you. God died for you. Everything that you have done, he paid the price for that already. Don't let nobody hold nothing against your head what you have done. Because what you've done, you've done that's in the past and you stand and you own what you've done. And you let that go. Stop allowing people to hinder you from being the best that you can be. I'm going to say this again. God has the power to turn any situation around and change any situation. You don't have to allow man to tell you who you are. Know who you are. Dig deep down in your inner self and know who you are. Know that you are a child of God and that God loves you and he's moving on your behalf. I want you to stay prayed up at all given times. I'm praying for y'all and I'm praying with y'all. I don't know who needs to hear this word tonight, but what I will say is forgive because you're walking around with nothing but the unforgiveness in your heart and it's blocking your blessings. If you feel like somebody did you wrong, you go to that person, hey, you did this and this and this and this how I feel and you let it go and you relieve yourself so God can open the windows of heaven and pour you out some blessings. So God can buy, bless you financially. So God can take you out of that ruckus that you're in. Because that's what he wants to do. He wants to turn your whole situation around but you got to surrender. Stop trying to be in control of everything and let it go. God loves you and he wants to take care of you. Are you willing to let it go? Or do you want to be in your 60s still walking around with what somebody said to you, allowing that to hurt you and hinder your blessings? Decide this day whose you are and whose you will serve. Because he is ready and he is willing to fight and go on your behalf. I love you guys. This is your girl, Bree, and I'm signing off. I want you to have a blessed and a prosperous night from my home to yours. Amen.